Hey everyone, it's Figzy and welcome back to Aviary Attorney. Okay, so we just happened to find this uh, map that was in Kokoriko's pocket and we get to select a room to investigate so I say we go to the Grand Gallery because that's where the murder took place and it's probably a good place to start so... Here we are, the Grand Gallery, the murder room. I believe the murder occurred right here under the new painting. I see hundreds of paintings. Which one is the new one? I haven't the foggiest. We'll have to ask someone. Please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. Excuse me, monster. You look like you know your Mona Lisa's from your last suppers. Uh -huh. I don't want any attention. Maybe he isn't talking to me. Nope, he's definitely talking to me. Keep it together, Eric. Oh, uh, hi. Would you happen to know which painting was unveiled on the 7th of January? The one the king came to visit. Oh yeah, I can help you with that. It's the piece right behind you. Oh, I see. It's a painting of the king himself. Who would have guessed? That's one noble-looking penguin. What do you think of it, Falcon? What do I think? Uh, well, I'm no art critic, but... I don't really care for it. It's subtle and nuanced. It's a ma it's certainly not a masterpiece. I personally don't care much for it. Uh, I don't want to be mean. No, you know what? Let's be honest here. I don't really care for it. He looks silly. I don't care for it. Above all else, art must strive to be honest. When I look at this piece, I don't see an honest depiction of our king. All I see is a depiction of the man the king wishes he could be. It's an artistic travesty. Whoa! I was not getting into that. I was just saying he looks silly. You read all that social commentary from one painting? That's pretty impressive considering it's just a penguin in fancy dress. I exactly! Thank you, Sparrison. I'm getting the impression that you messieurs aren't regulars at art galleries. No, we're a red pair of Philistines. Speak for yourself, Falcon. I've never been to the Middle East. Oh, Sparrison. Then I'm guessing you're here to investigate the King's assassination attempt. That's right. We were actually hoping you we could ask you a couple of questions about what you saw. Oh, I wasn't even in Perry when the murder took place. I didn't see anything. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I have a friend who might be able to help you out. What's this? Arnhem Associates, the home of Renard Volpe's private investigator. Thank you, but I don't normally deal with these gray area of the law types. No, please, give the guy a chance. He helped me out in a bind before, and I'm sure he can do the same for you. Well, I'm not making any promises, but I'll keep hold of the card. We appreciate the help in any case. Is no trouble. Okay. Thank you for your time, monsieur. Is there anything else we can do here? Well, ideally, we would turn the whole grand gallery upside down in our hunt for evidence. But that's not possible with so many people around, so we should probably just move to another room. Okay, well in that case, let's go to the Salle de Tibre. Just go in a big circle here. So this is the Salle du Tibre. If I understand Cocorico's notes correctly, this is the room the king and his entourage stopped in before heading to the Grand Gallery. This room doesn't seem to be very popular. I don't see anybody around to interrogate. Interview? Right, interview. Well, since it's quiet, maybe we should take the opportunity to do a little snooping. What would be the point? Surely all the interesting evidence would be in the Grand Gallery where the murder took place. Think about it, Falcon. The police would have already gone over the Grand Gallery with a fine-tooth comb. But I bet that numbskull Inspector Valerity didn't even think to check this room for clues. There might be a w murder weapon just under our beaks. Your logic seems a little questionable, but it couldn't hurt to have a look, I suppose. Select an area to examine. Oh yeah, that's my job. Um, I think Sparrison might be onto something. Either that or the game is hinting heavily that the murder weapon is in here. Uh, both are probably possible. I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of stand or podium? Maybe it's just a decorative piece. 
It's a Roman doorstop. Roman doors were enormous marble slabs, so the doorstops had to be similarly large in order to stay in place. I don't think that's right. My uncle's a Roman historian. Trust me. Well, then I'm sure your word is as good as his. Um, 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 let's see what this is. I'll stick to one side of the room. A shiny copper urn. I guess it was used for carrying water or cremated remains. Probably not both at the same time. It smells good. Don't sniff the exhibit, Sparrowson. No, really. This urn smells amazing. It's almost chocolatey. You poor thing, you're hallucinating from hunger. Would you like to stop by a bakery on our way back to the office? Don't patronize me, Falcon. My nose never lies. I'm telling you, there's something in here. I can feel it. Now you're touching the exhibit. Oh, that's definitely a no-no. Say, look what I found in the urn. Put that down, Sparrows, and it's someone's old rubbish. No, look, it's a chocolate wrapper. Judging by the smell, the chocolate was bitter and dark. 70, perhaps 80% cocoa. Belgian in origin. The level of the wrapper crumpling and the firmness of the chocolate residue indicate that this was discarded just a few days ago. Yes, I am certain. The chocolate contained in this wrapper was undoubtedly consumed on the 7th of January, the day of the murder. Mon Dieu, Sparrowson, you deduced all that from smelling the wrapper. Imagine what I could work out if I tasted it. That won't be necessary. Sparrowson, if you could apply this level of critical thinking to areas outside of food, you would be the world's greatest detective. If only all evidence were edible. Oh, dude, I feel you. There'd be no evidence left. So do you have any idea which shop this chocolate was purchased from? That might help us track down the person who consumed it. No, there's no possible way we could know that. Oh, I suppose we'll just have to visit every confectioner in town and sample every bit of merchandise for comparison. What a chore. Uh-huh. Interesting, because I see Lander Hagelslack's Chocolate Emporium written on the wrapper. Well, you can't blame a bird for trying. Chocolate wrapper has been added to your evidence folder. I certainly don't blame them, but that would get expensive real quick. These columns have been designed to look Roman. I think the style is Ionic. It's not Ionic, Falcon. Ionic is when a character says something, but the reader knows it means something completely different. That's not... Never mind. Ah, a little bit of situational Ionic there. I see a cabinet full of engraved plates. Mostly bronze. How much do you think they're worth? Uh, I don't know. 300 francs a piece at least. What? Are you serious? I'm in the wrong profession. I don't think archaeology works as a get-rich-quick scheme, Sparrowson. Who said anything about archaeology? I want to become a museum robber. Oh, well, that's one way to get rich quick. It's also one way to get yourself in jail, but then again, if you're an attorney, I suppose you can just defend yourself. I don't know. This is some sort of ceremonial container. It's beautifully crafted, but what did it contain? Maybe it's an arcane wine cabinet. Don't be so ignorant, Falcon. This is a sacred Mesopotamian artifact gifted to Emperor Hadrian for his victory at Euphrates in 123 AD. Stop making stuff up. You and I both know nothing about Mesopotamia. Alright, alright, you got me. This could be a hippo's chamber pot for all I know. Gross. If you're wondering what a chamber pot is, you don't want to know. It's not as fancy as it sounds. A supporting column. It's holding the roof up. If the column were truly supportive, it wouldn't hold the roof up. It would encourage the roof to get to its location on time. Ugh. Some passive-aggressive messages there, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think we got everything. I think we're good. We're done here. For now, at least. We can't spend all day staring at Roman artifacts, I suppose. So where to next? Um... Didn't we come from the Palace du Carousel? I can't remember. Are we all- Oh, no, we're not done here. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not just yet. Pass me that map. We still have to visit the Tularis. Our feather-headed friends wander through the immaculately maintained Tularis Gardens. 
Nothing seems out of the ordinary until they spot a familiar face picking up litter by the tree line. Hi, Falcon. Doesn't that groundskeeper over there look familiar? Yes. Now that I'm looking at him from two feet away, he does look a lot like that photographer. What's his name? Robinio Robinio, though I truly wish it was Bono Baghetto. Robinio Robinio. Hmm? Did someone call me? Oh, it's you. The lawyers who don't appreciate a masterful photograph when they see it. Good to see that you gave up your artsy dreams to pursue a more grounded career of groundskeeping. Every pun intended. Hey, I'm not doing this willingly. I was given community service for committing perjury. Can you believe that? They gave me, an esteemed photographer, community service. Me. Yeah, I know, it's tragic. Yeah, I can believe that. Perjury is somewhat serious. You should be thankful that you got off without jail time. You sound like that self-righteous Judge Maxime. So, did you want to ask me something, or are you just here to gawp? Personally, I'm just gawping. Actually, I do have a couple of questions, if you don't mind, Monsieur Rubinio. Uh, I don't know if it's like a joking how's the grounds keeping going, or if it's like a serious how's the ground keeping going. Uh, so we'll ask, have you met a Prince Juan? I don't suppose you've bumped into a Spanish fox who goes by the name of Prince Juan, have you? A Spanish fox? No, I've never met anyone like that. If this is about the assassination attempt on the king, then you're asking the wrong person. I just started working here today. I see. Was there anything else he wanted? Please don't be mocking. Please don't be mocking. Please be a serious question. So how's the groundskeeping job working out? Terrible. Tourists are pigs. Sometimes literally. Look at all this rubbish I found. Beer bottles, tin cans, apple cores. And look what I picked up by the west entrance. A book page. A whole book I could understand, but a single page? What kind of blithering moron loses just one page? Wait a moment, may I take a look at that monster? Don Quixote. That's a page from Don Quixote. May I take it off your hands, monster? Sure. What's it worth to you? What's it worth? It's trash. It's literally worthless. Then I suppose I'll be destroying it as per my duties. Alright, alright. I suppose I can give you a little compensation for your trouble. How about you give me the page and... Um... <laughs> I'll get your photos in the Louvre because I have all the connections. Um... Let's be realistic here. I'll speak with Judge Maxime or I'll pay you five francs. I would prefer just to tell him that we're going to talk to Judge Maxime because if he gives us the page then technically he's helping with the case and maybe we can get his sentence reduced if that makes sense to anyone else. Yeah, we'll just talk to Judge Maxime. I'll speak with Judge Maxime, I'll put in a good word and might, I might be able to get your sentence reduced. Really? You'll do that for me? Thank you, Monsieur. I would really appreciate that. Here, take the page. Page 44 of the world's longest title for a book has been added to your evidence folder. Did you want to ask me something else? That is it. That's all. We'll let you get back to your work, Monsieur Rubinio. Okay, I think we're all done here. I think we literally got everything that we possibly could. Are we all done here? Yep, let's go. Yep, let's make a move. Good call. We can always come back later if we've forgotten something. I highly doubt that we have, because like I said, we went over everything we possibly could. So, it's a new day, and I think that we should leave it for a new episode. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here, and in the next episode we will decide on where to go next. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!